Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. Yes, I, uh, yes, yes. Yes, I'm on my bathroom floor. This ain't my first time being in, in my bathroom, now that I think about it, but it is my first time being on the bathroom floor. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. So why we are gathered here today is to go through my hair product collection hoard infestation-ness. I accumulate hair products because I'll buy something because I've seen other people use it or off of recommendation, and then I'll try it. If I don't like it, I don't take stuff back, nor do I know people who go through hair products or who are looking for new hair products to give it to so I just end up keeping it so anyways yeah today we're gonna be going through some hair products I'll tell you a little about um, each one what I do with it why I have it so yeah without any further ado if you'd like to see my hair product collection um, hear about some hair products learn about some hair products or then just keep on watching um, I keep all of my hair products in here this is so weird you're looking under my sink oh my god <laughs> This is obviously not a hair product. I had to end up buying this little organization thing from, I think from Walmart, for my hair products because I just had so much of them and I just didn't like... Anyways, so yeah, let's just go ahead and hop right into it because I don't know how long this is going to be because I do have a lot of stuff. First things first, I guess I'll take this out. Um, this is my, my barber bag and it has like some clippers and a bunch of stuff that has nothing to do with this video and then I'll pull this out so this is the little organization thing as you see I have a dye bowl sitting under here it's like a two drawer unit um, both of the drawers are obviously full so I started stocking stacking stuff on top so I guess we'll start with the stuff on top first so I have some Cantu detangler um, I actually and I got this um, for kids and then I have my trusty old spray bottle if you are a natural hair person then you have at least one spray bottle. Um, in this spray bottle, I think it's just water. I used to put a little bit like a, a pump of conditioner and then water when my hair was like really long um, to detangle. But yeah, this is just water. And then I have a jar of co I actually have two different kinds of coconut oils. Um, so this is just like the coconut oil that you get from the grocery store or whatever. This one here I actually got when I traveled to Costa Rica. People grow coconuts there in their yard and then they just like sit out front of their house and sell their coconut products that they got from their actual coconuts so it's like not processed or anything um everything's in spanish but yeah so i got my coconut oils another oil this is the jamaican black castor oil um but it's in coconut it's coconut scented but it's not coconut oil and then i have beeswax oh from the good old dreads days i have some hair dye matter of fact i should have two boxes of hair dye. Both of them are about the same color. Yeah, she's not gonna get used. Um, I just have a thing. I'm not even gonna get into that, but um, I did wanna dye my hair this color. As you guys know, I've done like the whole red auburn color thing before, but for the longest time I wanted to dye my hair like a cinnamon brown. So I bought this and I couldn't push myself to do it. I was too afraid. So this box has just been sitting under here. It's been over a year at least. More oil. Oh, this is um, from when my hair was in, when my hair was dreaded, I would use this to oil my scalp. And it's tea tree and jojoba oil and um, hair and scalp oil from Cantu. It smells amazing. It smells so good. I don't even know why this is in there. It's like a herbal bath. Sinus relief thing. Go away. And then we got more Cantu. Uh, so this is the leave-in conditioning lotion. I haven't really got to explore this with my longer hair. I did. This is something I bought more recently with my hair short. And I don't like the way it performs on my short hair. Um, I haven't really found a good use for it. So that's why only a little bit of it has been used. So I'm looking forward to as my hair grows using this. And then I have my Cantu Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. I love this stuff and I loved it when my hair was longer. But it is very heavy and I think I mentioned that in a natural hair video prior. And this is actually like my second, matter of fact, I have two bottles of this. Not because like I love it so much. I think maybe one day I was like traveling somewhere and I didn't have hair products so I went and bought another bottle. Yeah, it's just really heavy. But it does the job. Like it really did work for my curls. I just didn't like when it dried. They felt like they like clumped together too much and it was like... It wasn't light and fluffy, it was like, mm, I don't know. Okay, so that was everything that was just on top. Um, I'm gonna see if I can maybe like speed this up so it'll, it'll be too long. Um, the next drawers aren't as, don't have as many products in there because they're not that big so it shouldn't take as long. The top drawer is where I keep um, 
my, my jars and also my hair utensils, I guess, tools, hair tools, utensils. Anyways, so starting with the jars, I have some hair gels in here. Um, these are my two favorite hair gels. This is the, of course, the infamous Eco Style Gel. Is it Eco Styler? Everybody says Eco Styler. This is Eco Style in the olive oil. And then I have Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink um, Flaxseed Elongating Gel. I like both of these, but I don't use both of them. I felt like this didn't like, it didn't form my curls the way I wanted it to. This one really did give me good definition with my wash and goes. The only thing I didn't like about it is it dried ashy, dare I say. Like it, I don't know if it's like alcohol free, but it really gave me that like alcohol ashiness on my hair. Um, but it smells amazing. Oh, it smells so damn good. Ooh, this smells good. I do use this when I do like my um, comb twist and uh, finger coils and things. Actually, I used to use this, but then, which leads me to my next project, pro product, come on, segue. My um, mango and lime locking gel and locking cream wax. I bought both just to kind of test them out when I had my comb twist or my finger, finger coils. The locking gel is just what it sounds like. It's a gel um, used for like Oh, it smells so freaking good. You know what? My one gripe I have about this is that in using it, it turns your fingers and your nails yellow. So, buyer beware. And then I have the cream wax, which essentially does the same thing. Mmm, smells... Oh, the... Ooh, this smells sweeter, but it smells really good. Um, and then the wax is supposed to be like, if you have more stubborn hair, this holds the hair and locks the hair better. Eh, do I have a preference? I don't know. I think with my hair type, I prefer the gel because I like the way my hair performs when it's like wetter. This is not as wet because it's not as liquidy. It's a harder cream wax. So yeah. And then I have some edge control argan oil. This is the best edge control. When I get my hair braided, this is what um, she uses when she braids my hair. All that's left is like my little hair tools. Um, got some little hair ties in here. Comb. I got a, a twisting comb. I have the infamous Den Men brush and I did adjust this so now it has four rows of teeth instead of like all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have a toothbrush for them edges. You know, we need the slick slick. I have the <laughs> two rat tail combs. Look, you cannot have a certain beyond a certain hair type without one of these or two of these. I have another comb and this one just has kind of like a oops, bent. I just kind of has like a little pick or fork at the end, whatever you want to call it. When I have my dreads, I would go in with this thing here and get to scr oh lord Jesus. Oh yeah, that was that was good. I have a little mini brush. Um, I have a double-sided brush, and then I have a wide tooth comb. This is my favorite comb. When my hair was long and I had to detangle, baby, with some conditioner in this comb, and I had we had some good times. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then I have a dye brush as well. And then I just have a travel size conditioner. I think this is something I bought when I was out of town. I needed conditioner, so I bought it. I don't even think I've used it more than that one time, but waste not, want not. All right, and then we're on our final drawer down here at the bottom. Um, and then this is just my larger bottles that can't stand up here on the top. So I have my Kinky Curly Not Today um, Leave-In Detangler. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. As a detangler, even as a styling product, Girl, what I would do, like when I would do my wash and go, I'd obviously, you know, wash. And then um, while my hair was like soaking, soaking wet, I'd get a big helping of this and I'd just like run it through, run it through, run it through, run it through, finger comb it through. And then I'd get my styling product or whatever I was going to use. Sometimes it would be this um, curl activator. Sometimes it'd be a little gel and some curl activator, whatever. And then I'd fork that through and shake it out. And like I, I've tried doing the shake and go without this and with this and this makes such a big difference like the movement it really separates the curls i don't know what is in this but i highly recommend this it's um again it's by kinky curly and it's called not today and then i have my mango and lime um no itch grow spray i actually use this when um when my hair was braided after i don't know if it's just the tension on the scalp but after like a few days of my hair being braided it would itch like nobody's 
business, girl. Oh, it is so bad. Um, and this is mentholated, you know, spray. I think I, I honestly, for my hair to be itching that bad, I think I've only used this like once or twice. This is a full bottle. I probably gave it like maybe three spritz. I think what it was is because my hair was braided. My hair was blow dried before she braided it. So I didn't want to spray it and wet it and then get it fuzzy, my braids fuzzy, you know? So I think that's why I didn't use this. And then I have uh, Wave Nouveau Moisturizing Finishing Lotion. Um, this is interesting because it's a lotion, but it looks like, it's almost like, it, it looks like, I wish you guys can see this. It's almost clear like a gel. It comes out clear, but it's a lotion. And, um, it's very, very lightweight. It does add some moisture. I don't remember if this does much for curls. I think I preferred this better when I had short curly hair. But when my hair was long, I don't think this did much, so it didn't get much use. And I think my mom actually used to have this, and I think that's why I bought it, because I've seen her with it. Alright, and the last product in here is my pink hair moisturizing lotion. You can never go wrong with pink. This is a childhood staple. Y'all know how pink works. The only reason sometimes I stray away from this, especially with my hair longer, when your hair's short, this is great. Like, you know, you can really like rub it in. But when your hair's longer, it's hard to get it through the hair. And you know how it leaves like that pink film on your hair. Like it, le it looks like ashy so you really gotta rub it in but when your hair is long like this you can't really like do too much rubbing without fucking up your hair you know I also have some more hair products which are in this drawer and that's like my everyday stuff that I use and also my medicine cabinet but this is like my, my collection there's probably like a couple brushes matter of fact I'm, I'm gonna get it. Okay, so now just to go through the stuff that I use like on a daily. Um, so as you see, my hair, well, I hope you can see, but my hair is um, very much sponged. I use like the new dread sponge or whatever, and you know, I sponge my hair. Um, so basically when I do that, I use this, and I love this. This is something I've been testing and I love it. Um, but it's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Styling Lotion with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin by Shea Moisture. I love this. I I get a nice heaping helping of this stuff um, rub it through my hair just to give it some like moisture and hydration and everything because I don't like to do this on my dry hair I feel like this well I know this like rips out your hair but I feel like when it's dry it's gonna cause a lot of breakage so I just give it a little bit of lubrication with this and then I'll spray it with this pink um, lusters glosser and then I'll go in with my sponge and I sponge my hair um, other than that I have this in that drawer my Oh my god, this too? To scratch that scalp? I don't know, something about these metal prongs, amazing. Oh yeah, but this I used to like pick out my hair and stuff, obviously, great. And I just used this brush to like, you know, brush down my sides. I got that fresh taper, you know? But yeah, let me close this. I'm tired of y'all looking up in my cabinet. But yeah, y'all, that's all of my hair products. Um, I don't know necessarily that there's anything that I really need to get rid of or declutter. My whole collection that I have sitting here in front of me, they all have their use. They all have their time and their place. Because I go through so many different hairstyles, I'd hate to get rid of something and then... And then I go back to that hairstyle and now I don't have the thing that I used to use. So I have my products here for when my hair is braided, which I may be doing somewhere soon. I have my products for when I'm sponging my hair. My hair is this length. I have products for when I get my dreads and if I'm going to twist my hair. Like, I, I have a little bit of everything. Let me know, do you guys use any of these products or do you have anything that you would recommend that I swap out for something else? Because you know I'm all about the recommendation, that's how I got most of this. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you didn't, hell. And more importantly, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of this Tyler with the No goodness. And I will catch you all on my next video. Peace.